How do you stay warm in the freezing temperatures of Canada? The solution, at least for me, is definitely not to just get the thickest, bulkiest sweaters. Instead, what got me through these freezing winters was a thermal wear. In this video, let's talk about thermal wear from the brand Uniqlo. To be exact, it's called Heat Tech. In total, I have four of these inner wear layers and I had these since almost five years ago and they stayed in pretty good condition so far. In this video today, I'm going to show you examples of both the women's as well as the men's heat tech. I know when you go to Uniqlo, there are so many options and it can get quite confusing. Which model to buy, which colors, which heat level and so on. But don't worry, I will walk you through the three heat levels that Uniqlo heat tech has. So let's start with the first one. It's the regular crew neck long sleeve, which has the lowest warmth of all types. And I have them in several colors. This one is the black one. And as you can see, it has a crew neck here. This is how it looks from the back. As you can see, the material is pretty thin and this is a size S by the way. It fits quite snugly, but it's not too tight. That is why I didn't get extra small. But just so you know, most of these t-shirts go from XXS to XXL, but very often the very small as well as the very large sizes are sold out. And this is the dark blue one also in size S. The black one I showed you just now and this blue one are my favorite t-shirts. And these ones, which are the least warm, also happen to be the cheapest. They cost $19.90. When choosing a size, my advice would be to choose a size that fits snugly, but that is not too tight. You don't want it to fit like this because it can get quite uncomfortable. So you still want to have just a bit of room, but don't let it be too loose. And because it fits snugly and clings to your body, it fits very well under a sweater without adding to the bulk. And this one here in flesh color is also regular warmth but this one as you can see has a scoop neck so this model is very useful if you combine this with a lower cut sweater and you do not want the inner wear to show Personally, I think that this flesh colored one is ugly, but it's very useful actually, especially if you combine it with a top that is white, because if you wear something that's white and have a flesh colored top underneath, it will not show through. And this is the other scoop neck that I have. This is also regular warmth. And I know that the color of this is a bit weird. I think I got this in the discount section and it was on sale. So usually when you go to the sale section, you will find colors that are not very popular, but nonetheless are very useful. But if you need several of these tops and you want to save money, then it can be a good idea to just get some that are not your favorite color but that are cheaper. There is one downside though to having this scoop neck. So this guys is a size S and it fits me very well but the only problem I have is that I find that the scoop is a bit too wide. The scoop is a bit too wide and if your shoulders are on the narrower side they're not really wide. You might have the problem of either your bra strap showing or this constantly sliding down which can get a bit uncomfortable especially after a few washes when it gets a bit loose then this tends to slide down so if you want to get the scoop neck i would highly recommend you to size down by one size so for what temperature are these regular heat tech tops good for personally i wear these at around five degrees celsius down to minus five degrees celsius it still works very well with the sweater and keeps me warm anything below minus five minus eight degrees celsius i usually would either double these layers or switch to the extra warm which i'll talk about in a bit. By the way guys, if you're enjoying this video so far and you find it useful, then please do me a favor and hit the like button. That will let me know that you enjoy this type of video and it would also tell YouTube to push this video out to more people. Thank you. One question that many of you ask me when I talk about winter clothing is about the material. What is the material of heat tech? The material is a mix of polyester, acrylic, rayon, and spandex. And guys, before I go on to the men's version of this top, I want to quickly run you through what this top actually has to offer why it's so good these tops are bio warming the fibers absorb water vapor from the body and convert it into heat energy and also they are heat retaining they have air pockets that form between the fibers that prevent heat from escaping and i must say that yes these tops deliver on their promise and they are pretty warm and they're also moisture wicking so they tend to stay dry they absorb and wick away moisture to keep you feeling 
fresh. And they are extra stretchy. That is something that I really love. Their knitted fabric has added stretch for a perfect fit, making it so comfortable you hardly notice you're wearing it. Hmm, I never thought about it, but yes, they are actually super, super comfy. Shape retaining. The special knitted fabric provides a high level of stretch and durability so clothes keep their shape after washing. And I can attest that that is true. As long as you take care of these and wash them the right way, which I'll talk about a bit later, they actually keep their form pretty well. I mean, just think about it. I had these tops for almost five years and during the winter, so during at least six months of the year, I wear these almost every day. And I bet that each of these has already gone through at least 50 washes. Of course, after a while, they get a bit looser and there's a bit of peeling, but overall, they pretty much kept their shape. Also, antimicrobial and anti-odor. Odor control fabric fights bacteria to prevent odors. Deodorizing. Special fibers absorb, neutralize, and eliminate the source of odor. Dry. They quickly absorb and wick away moisture for lasting comfort. And now guys, let's look at the men's version of the crew neck, also the regular warmth level. So here my husband has it in this gray color, and this one is a size S, and the price is the same. The regular warmth level crew neck costs $19.99. And by the way, Uniqlo also has turtleneck heat tech innerwear. I don't have these because I do think that it can get a bit too warm, but if you're interested, they also have these tops with the turtleneck. So guys, the reason that I really love these heat tech tops is that they're very comfortable, they're warm, and also, especially these regular warmth ones, look very good just on their own. You don't even need to layer them. You can just wear it like this as a top. But most importantly, these are also very, very easy to care for. I usually Usually just throw them in the laundry with other similarly colored items so I would wash this one this dark one with dark colored clothing and if I have something more light colored with light colored clothing and on the website here it says that you should wash these at a cold temperature but <laughs> To be honest, all this while I've been washing these at a warm temperature, but they've been fine. What's more important is actually that you don't put them into the dryer. Never do that. So after you wash your heat tag innerwear, simply hang them up to dry. And they dry really, really fast in a matter of a few hours. So in summary, this regular uh, crew neck heat tag top is my favorite. This is what I wear every day during the winter and what keeps me warm. Now before I continue with the extra warm heat tag, for even colder temperatures. If you're curious to know about how I layer my clothing in the winter to keep warm while still looking good and not looking too bulky, then make sure that you check out this video up here about layering. So if temperatures get to minus eight, minus 10 degrees Celsius, oftentimes I switch to the extra warm innerwear, the extra warm heat tech. So this is one I have, it's gray, and this I must say is already a bit worn out, but it still does its job fabulously. And as you can see, this one is thicker than the other one. This one is less transparent and indeed it's much, much warmer. And it's also more expensive. This one, the extra warm one, costs $29.99. And the extra warm version actually has cotton in it. So the material here is a mixture of cotton, acrylic, rayon, and spandex. So all these years, four to five years, I only had one of these extra warm tops but this winter i told myself okay i need to get another one so last week we went to uniqlo and my husband got himself a top and i also got myself one in olive color and honestly i must say that this is not my favorite color but i don't have this in my collection yet so i thought why not but the other reason is also that my husband got one in ultra warm in the color olive but not exactly this olive so that is why i thought okay let's just get an olive colored one too let's try it on Whew, and yes it's actually super warm but by the way today happens to be a very warm february day at 10 degrees celsius so that's why not the best day to try this on so as you can see again the material is much thicker than the regular one so what do you think about the color I think it's actually not too bad. But in any case, I must say that the regular ones look much, much better on their own compared to this extra warm one. 
So again, this one, this extra warm top costs $29.99 and this one is a crew neck, but they also have the extra warm one as a scoop neck. But the reason why I don't get a scoop neck in extra warm is because I want it to be warmer and I do not want this big gaping hole in the front here. Okay guys, before we continue, just to give you a better overview of the different heat levels, let's look at this chart on the Uniqlo website here. So here on the left you can see there's the regular heat tech, it's thin, lightweight, yet warm, correct, and then there's the heat tech extra warm, so the one that I'm wearing right now and the one I showed you just now in grey. And it says here that it's one and a half times warmer than our regular heat tech. Hmm, it's pretty hard to say how much warmer one clothing item is compared to the other, but yeah. We could say that it's one and a half times warmer. And then lastly on the right hand side we have the heat tech ultra warm. It's about 2.25 times warmer than our regular heat tech. And let's look at that in a bit. Now before we go on to the ultra warm heat tech, let's take a look at the men's version of extra warm. The men's version also costs $29.99 and it comes in different colors, but my husband didn't get the extra warm ones. He just wanted the regular one and then the ultra warm one. He didn't want to have something in between, but it looks about the same. Okay guys, now let's go on to ultra warm heat tech. For ultra warm, I only have the men's version. I personally didn't get the ultra warm one because I just found it too expensive at $39.99 and I also didn't really like the women's version. But anyways, so this is the men's version for ultra warm. Uh, this is how it looks like. So my husband here is now wearing the one in size S and as you can see it fits snugly but it's not too tight and it's not too loose either and you could actually just wear it like that on its own. But personally, I would say that it doesn't look that nice and I would rather wear a sweater on top of it. But if you're someone who doesn't really care too much, then yes, go ahead and you can just wear it like this on its own. So I know that these ultra warm ones are really expensive, but this year my husband wanted to get another ultra warm ones. So we went to Uniqlo and he was quite lucky. We went to the sales section. There was actually an ultra warm crew neck on sale for just $19.99, which is super cheap. But unfortunately, it came in a color that he was not too crazy about at first at least. But let me ask him in a minute what he thinks about it. So this is also olive, but it's a different colored olive. Let's just take a peek. And by the way, this is size M. I'm not really sure why he got size M. So if you look closely at the material of the ultra warm one, it is much denser, it is thicker, and yes, indeed, it's much, much warmer. So this is a tip I have for you guys. When you first buy heat tech, don't buy all at once. Don't buy like five or six at once, but collect them gradually because that way you know what you like and what you don't like. So start off just buying two, for example, a regular one and then an extra warm one. So you kind of get a feel how warm they are and which you need. If you tend to get cold very, very easily, you might want to get more of the extra warm ones or even ultra warm. But if you don't freeze as much, then you might be pretty fine with the regular one. Over Overall, I would say that these unique low heat tech tops are absolutely worth it. They're not only worth it, but they're indispensable. And as I told you before, I pretty much wear them every day and they kind of held up their shape. Just don't put them in the dryer, remember. So guys, inner wear is super, super important to survive the winter in Toronto, but it's not just about the inner wear, but it's also about how you layer your clothing. In case you also like to wear shirts and pullovers and you're wondering how to combine these heat tech tops with different jackets, then make sure that you check out this video here where I talk about how you layer your clothing to survive the winter in Toronto while not looking too bulky and still looking good. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time next time.